Well, a 3 0 win here against Hereford. That was a great way to bounce back from last week, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, full credit to the players for uh, what's been a very difficult week and very diff difficult conditions and a very difficult atmosphere. We fell miles short last week, and I'm bored talking about it at the standards that we've set. Not standards that other people set, that we set ourselves um, over a period of time. Very rare we've lost back to back games in the last three seasons. And I understand, I said it in my programme notes, that three seasons is a long time football-wise. I think there's only four or five managers at clubs that have been at their club longer than I've been at this club. I understand frustrations and where people want to go, but some of the stuff, abuse, I, I don't I don't think it's on. I think, what, a couple of our players, I'll get it all season. I was getting booed at fans' forums in July. I've been spat at. I've had someone try and get in the tunnel after the second game of the season. I know what it's going to be like for me this season and I carry on with the job and the full knowledge of that. I'll always protect our players from that stuff and I was hurting for them this week. Our job has been to try and put that back together on the back of, I'm not defending a performance, but to turn a performance out like that, I thought was top draw and is a reflection on how well they want to do for a whole variety of reasons and I'm so pleased for them because they've, they've done well for us this season. You're right, we're not. There's however many teams have had better starts than us. We're there or thereabouts and we will be there or thereabouts at the, the end of the season. And I didn't think some of the players, some of the really personal targeted stuff, just keep hitting me with it. I'm, I'm getting really used to it. And you made big changes today, especially in midfield. Mitch Hancock came in, Reese Daly and obviously Will Hugo on his debut. How pleased were you with how that affected the game? Yeah, I was, well, I was pleased with the performance, pleased with the matter of the goals. Um, I recognise we haven't played well enough during the month of October that culminated in last week and what was a really humbling experience. And a, I don't think had the club been beaten by that many goals before during this during our time in the division. We we can't have done to have that level of like criticism. We mustn't have ever lost by it's the first time in, in my time here that we've had a real score line put on against us and we were we were second best. But it wasn't a good enough month and I don't think we've scored enough goals. So it was time to freshen it up. Personnel, shape, taken a lot on board, been called a lot of names, been told I'm a thick idiot. So I was thinking what would other managers do under real pressure and scrutiny so watch Mike Bassett England manager and he, he can't have been that thick he was the England manager and he played with two centre forwards and 4-4-2 four, four, I think he called it and we got good ball in forward areas we crossed the ball and as well we brought Beans on Toast back this week which has been a big big sign in for us we we haven't sort of had Beans on Toast so far this season but we brought that back on a Friday so it was nice there was there was a lot of options there was beans there was toast there was some spaghetti as well for those that are that way inclined i, I enjoyed that so that um little things that maybe made a difference this week um but we've got to move on and move on to Darlington quickly but delighted delighted with the lads that came in pleased for the group um good way to respond but we need to be better next week as you say we go to Darlington on tuesday night a very busy month in, in november how well do you think that's gonna stand us in good stead for the month right we've got a big month we've got a big spell between christmas and sorry between now and christmas if we win important we don't get carried away and if we lose important that the world doesn't end we can have had it like i say over three years the people have been calling for my head since i took the job because sometimes your face doesn't fit sometimes you're not an ex-premier league footballer or you haven't won this division or you haven't been around the circuit long enough sometimes that's why people want you to fail because you're a little bit different the way the players have responded from a real tough setback is massive it's important we don't have many setbacks like that along the way but when it's good enjoy it and don't get carried away and let's get ready for tuesday night and you know, if we come up short on Tuesday, which we'll do everything we can to not, and that won't be accepted, but the world can't end. We need to try and build some momentum. And the process of doing that is as soon as I'm done talking to you, we can start planning for Darlington. Well done. Enjoyed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Carl.